Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, literally just 20 something minutes ago, it has been confirmed by James Gunn himself. Um, I, I assume, um, most likely it was, I don't really know the whole details, but it has been officially confirmed that Batman the Brave and the Bold, uh, the first Batman film of the DCU, will be directed by Andy Muschietti, the man who directed the flash movie which will officially be releasing tomorrow now this has been heavily rumored for a while now and um kind to be honest i wasn't really that surprised um when it was kind of confirmed today that yeah andy muschietti will be directing the film because a lot of people have kind of been saying this and i'm saying it too now mainly because if this film really is good then well the flash if the flash is really good then i could see why they would want him to direct batman the brave and the bold especially with because of the fact that there are two other batmen that are in this movie and so andy muschietti already has some experience of working with batmen or not just one but two batmen like i said in a movie so it just makes sense for him to direct this film again because he works because he worked with two batmen on the Flash movie. So, without wasting any more time, though, let's get in this article and see what exactly it says here. So, it says here on Deadline that we had been hearing for some time that Andy Muschietti was circling to direct Batman the Brave and the Bold at Warner Brothers. However, with the WGA strike in effect, it didn't appear that things were going to get locked down, locked down so quickly. However, on the eve of The Flash's opening night, in a weekend where that film is, is expected to earn, is expected to open, I'm so sorry, um, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing a bunch of these words, I'm, I'm sorry, um, I, ugh, I don't know why, anyway, moving on. However, on the eve of The Flash's opening night, in a weekend where that film is expected to open to 75 million stateside, uh, 155 million plus worldwide, DC co-bosses James Gunn and Peter Safran have officially certified in a statement that they've selected the Argentinian filmmaker as the director of a new incarnation of Batman. So they did confirm it. So, okay. That is good to know. So James Gunn and Safran did confirm it. Okay. That is good to know. Uh, but there's more. Apart from Muschietti's business with Safran and Gunn, he and his producer sister Barbara Muschietti inked a first-look deal with Warner Brothers Motion Picture Group run by Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Gunn and Safran talked about the Batman, the Brave and the Bold at their DC day back in late January. It's their version of the DCU Batman outside what Matt Reeves already created in the 771 million grossing The Batman and its upcoming sequel, which obviously it's going to be very different from that um, because that version of Batman is dark. This version of Batman is going to be serious, I, I guess, or fantastical, um, but not too dark because it's the DCU. It's going to attract all the audiences. I mean, that's what Matt Reeves' Batman did, except uh, it's a little darker grounded but again it's dark so this is going to be a little a little different from that not going to be as dark as that but hey man it is what it is um because it attracts all audiences so it makes sense that this is going that this isn't going to be a dark version of batman uh this new movie will feature batman and his son damian wayne as robin who is a little son of a bitch build gun earlier this year we all know that assassin murderer who, who Batman takes on, who is Batman's actual son that he doesn't know exists for the first eight to 10 years of his life. It's a strange father and son story about the two of them. And based on Grant Morrison's run of the Batman, we saw the flash even before taking the reins at DC studios and knew we were in the hands of only a visionary director, but a massive DC fan said gun and Saffron in a statement to deadline. It's a magnificent film, funny, emotional, thrilling, and Andy's of, affinity and passion for these characters and this world just resonates through every frame so when it came time to find a director for the brave and the bold there was only really one choice luckily andy said yes barbara signed on to produce with us and we're on our way the duo continued they're an extraordinary team and we couldn't have better we couldn't have better or more inspiring partners as we embark on this thrilling new adventure in the dcu more 
All right, so I guess, I guess there is more. I don't know. All right. Well, that, that's going to be a historical then, I guess. Um, all right. Well, there you have it. It is confirmed. Andy Muschietti will be directing the DCU Batman Brave and the Bold film. And again, like I said in the beginning of this video, it makes sense for him to do it because he has experience working with the working with people who have played the character of Batman, like in the Flash movie. Work, experience with working with Ben Affleck's Batman and Michael Keaton's Batman. So it just makes sense for him to direct this film. And uh, especially if this film really is like as good as a lot of people are saying, if, it, if it's good, really good or, or total masterpiece. I know a lot of people have a lot of mixed opinions on this movie saying it's really good, saying it's a masterpiece. Some people are saying that it's just good. But yeah, man, um, this is also showing basically that, uh, yeah, we're, we're most likely not going to be getting a Flash sequel, which I, I'm glad we're not going to be getting a Flash sequel because this ties in directly into how the DCU gets created. So it makes sense for, the, for there not to be a sequel for The Flash. And this definitely tells us that, yeah, there's not going to be a sequel for The Flash if Andy Muschietti is going to be, if because it is confirmed that Andy Muschietti will be directing the DCU Batman Brave and the Bold movie. So that right there basically says that, yeah, there's not going to be a Flash sequel. So that's all I got to say about this. Post comments down below, though. Uh, let me know you guys think about this. Are you happy that Andy Muschietti uh, will be directing Batman the Brave and the Bold? Do let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of him in DC or a fan of him Batman or a fan of Andy Muschietti specifically, then you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also come follow me over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye!